Hello everyone. Welcome to another Pipelet lesson. So today we will discuss a very uh, important topic, which is about uh, Pipelet auto layout option. So with the help of this option, we can design a spray sprinkler uh, firefighting network for any equipment like a vertical vessel, horizontal vessel, spherical vessel, or uh, any area, rectangles, uh, spherical, and uh, so uh, they start. So at first we have to uh, make a pipe type and a nozzle type so let's do it so to make a pipe type go to a pipe type and I am just selecting a 40 schedule B36.10 and C factor B120 let's apply and ok and let us define a nozzle uh, go to library and nozzle just put a name in one and be like 45 bar two bar seven and here is the spray divergence angle so in our basic spray sprinkler module it is not of very use but in the auto layout option we have to put a value uh, which will uh, very important thing actually based on the spray divergence angle the footprint of the sprayers will be calculated so let's put something 120 and apply okay <coughs> sorry and now go to tool and auto layout option so you can see the first option is object type just from the drop down you can select whichever you want I will uh, show you one by one how to uh, get a network for all of the objects mentioned here so let's start from the sphere and the first input is the diameter in feet so let us use 48 and pipe type you can specify or let it remain unset and then click on next and this is the model preview and nozzle selection so for that the number of riser you have to put the number of riser I am here putting 2 and minimum riser 2 range distance uh, let us put 2 feet and the ranges starts from equator starts from poles the so ranges at poles and ranges at equator I am first I am uh, selecting the start from equator and for the upper side separation I am putting a 15 feet value and the lower side separation I am providing a 10 feet value and now the minimum spray overlap let it 1 feet and nozzle to visual distance let it 3 feet and average flow density average flow density is basically the uh, total water requirement for the vessel divided by the vessel area so for the initial case I am going with 0.1 and just select the nozzle and generate model and here is the model preview you can select it is our model and this is the viewer you can see this is our model and just play with it guys uh, like I am here um, the number of riser is 2 let it 1 and again generate model you can see that uh, one side riser is omitted and if I minimum riser to range distance be 0 then you, I can also see that it is like that okay so these are the very basic things and just if you uh, select start from pole your model will like that and if you select ranges at pole it will be like that like from the equator the spacing will start from the equator start from poles means the spacing will start from the poles and ranges at poles and range at equator means the spacing will start from the both until it overlaps okay so let it equator and let separation of upper side be uh, 100 I am putting an arbitrary greater value than the uh, pipe uh, spherical vessel dia so that the more the 
protection is only done for the lower half of the spherical vessel and now in this case if you, if you select start from poles now you can see that it is a hat looking model so so let's go with this and now you can choose genus play diagram and it is your spray diagram okay now you can uh, increase the image resolution and uh, what is this legend actually as per the NPFA uh, 15 rule uh, the required flow density is 0.9 liter per minute per ft square feet square so you can see that very little area is here satisfying so this is fine and the red area is uh, not satisfying this critical flow density value so what we can do either we can uh, change our model layout and all of the things or in most of the cases NPFA is very stringent so let's use a 0.3 value and now regenerate image so let's wait for it now you can see the model is looking much better and also here is the model menu you can uh, activate the spray cone options and the show up direction and here are the spray cones you can see, see here and let's stop it and now you can see there are the these are the overlaps which is minimum one feet we have mentioned earlier so this is our sprayer diagram okay guys now let's close it and go back for the another object type which is vertical cylinder and for the vertical cylinder we have to specify the height and the diameter so let's height be 100 feet and diameter let it be 30 feet 30 feet yeah 30 feet would be fine and let's next and here are the same options here you can select the number of riser riser to inch distance and range from top and bottom is 10 minimum spray overlap 1 feet nozzle to vessel 3 feet and average flow density 0.1 you can select the nozzle and let's generate model so here is our model okay and now if you go to the genus spray diagram again let's it is very stringent 0.3 let's increase the image resolution and regenerate image okay so these are the our actual sprayer diagram so you can play with it and you can check whatever happens if you change one value so let's go back and again select the area protection rectangle and here are the width and length you have to specify i am remain it just and go to next and again uh, now you can uh, see here that the number of riser cannot change and riser to range distance be 5 feet, riser height be 5 feet and minimum spray level be 1 and average 0.1 
now so we'll select and generate model now it is our model Now you can see it is a spare diagram and uh, it is alright. I am just changing the arterial flow density value. So even with this value it is red. So we have to modify our uh, layout. So let close and P is a two way height distance B3 and average flow density B2. Okay, and let's generate model, generate spread diagram. Point three. Oh my God! Let again. Now you can see it is quite good, so it can be accepted. So that's it, guys. So I think I have covered most of the uh, pipe standard and space printer module. If you have any specific query, you can ask me, or uh, uh, from my next tutorial, I will start pipe net transient module. Okay, thank you.